morning, everybody. Thank you for being here. Um, it is Ash Wednesday and also Valentine's Day, as has been mentioned. Um, the American people are not feeling very loved right now, though. They're not, they're not feeling heard by the Biden administration. And I'm going to recap a few of the things that we've, you've heard here this morning already. First of all, regarding this fitness for office of the president, Americans have been speaking out about the president's mental acuity and the double standards within his Justice Department. On Thursday, as you know, the special counsel confirmed that President Biden mishandled classified materials in a way that presented serious risk to national security. He broke the law, but he's not going to be charged. Why is that? Well, special counsel said that it decided not to indict the president in part because there are significant limitations on his memory and a jury wouldn't convict him because he would be presented as, quote, an elderly man with a poor memory. That, that did not inspire confidence among the American people. It's of great concern to us. Ultimately, they're indicting, remember now, the DOJ is indicting one president with politically motivated charges, and they are now carrying the water for another amid very similar allegations. A man too incapable of being held accountable for mishandling classified information is certainly unfit for the Oval Office. And everyone in this room, if you just ask yourself that question, you will come to the same conclusion. On in Public concerns have arisen regarding President Biden's cognitive abilities, particularly in light of mishandling confidential information. This has sparked debates about accountability and adherence to the law. It's essential to strike a balance between taking responsibility for actions and recognizing human fallibility, even among leaders. The issue extends beyond memory and judgment limitations. It encompasses fairness and the role of law enforcement in a politically charged environment. Disparities in prosecuting presidents, influenced by political motivations, highlight a double standard within the Justice Department. These revelations contribute to public anxiety and undermine trust and leadership in the system. Leaders must emphasize accountability and be subject to consequences for mishandling confidential information to maintain public trust. Democratic values like law and order, national security and transparency are at stake. 